So we have arrived at the sell the news sort of zone. So in the past few days, we've had the buy the rumor preceding the swell event in Dubai. Now we're going to see a little bit of probably some selling, taking profits, etc. as we near the sell the news aspect. There is also the looming, looming macro issue of the US government shutdown. So that's approaching and that's starting to affect the macro conditions. Of course, let's not forget the other macro conditions happening in the Middle East and north of the Black Sea. So all of these events are still playing out. The United States, of course, is still printing something like a trillion dollars of debt every single month. And the economic outlook is looking really, really bad actually in 2024 from companies and banks point of view. From crypto holders point of view, it's looking very, very good indeed, right? There's a flight to quality that's taking place. Many of these banks are going to fail in 2024. A lot of their customers are going to bank run into crypto. A lot of these banks are also going to be buying crypto in order to salvage some of their financial holdings, uh, salvage some of the value in, in whatever money that they're holding. So there's a lot of negative that's happening that on the bigger picture level is going to affect everything negatively. But from our point of view as crypto holders, um, we can kind of rest assured that we are on the right side of history for once, right? And this is one of the things that they're fighting hard, especially here in the UK, right? Our government now is going after um, all of the side hustles that people have all of the things that uh, people are using to generate extra funds, even in these hard times, including cryptocurrencies. They've recognized that crypto is a way that people are opting out of some of the control, control systems that they're enacting, and they've come after it pretty hard and all under the guise of regulations and protecting the masses, right? For instance, I went to buy some more Wall Street memes the other day, and the idea was to buy some after the pre-sale. Now the pre-sales are over. There was like a 3x pump, which I actually missed because I wasn't paying attention to it. And the price now is actually falling below the pre-sale value. So I thought I'd pick up some, you know, gambling and stuff. But alas, I wasn't able to do anything from here on Wall Street memes because they're no longer offering it to UK residents because the website doesn't comply with the new regulations and they're not recommended by any third party that's reputable, which is what the new law requires, which is why, for instance, Binance and Coinbase rushed out those questionnaires to us in October. So they haven't done that. They're a meme coin. And of course, it says on the website that they're just a meme coin and they don't promise anything at all. Wall Street memes are not the only one. There are many, many, many cryptocurrencies that are no longer available in the UK because their websites are not permissible to promote stuff to UK residents because they don't comply, because there's no third party to verify them. Interesting times we're moving into. Do your own research though, no financial advice. I'll see you in the next video.